Hello my friends, I welcome you all to the Creative Thinkers Hub channel. Today we are going to be learning that how to create super amazing photo manipulation artworks, three of them in only 15 minutes. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's take this image, which is by Timo Lina, the green apple. Okay. Now, the reason there is a reason why I'm taking it. Now, take the lips by Raw Pixel. Take this lady by Ketu Subianto. Another one by Gaudi Sale. And this one by Free Pick. Okay. Let's take some dust by free pick again and this one also by free pick and this one by awesome content okay and let's take some water only uqj and this we are ready by even uh going putting it through uh the software pickwish by removing the background okay so it's a website pickwish.com you can go there and remove the background so this is what we are trying to do okay so now what we have we have got the red color lips let's crop it so that everything is crisp and you know uh, we know where we are in our artwork fine now let's come here adjust U saturation so apple is selected and we are working on U and saturation in the green department so make the green full okay at minus 180 now play on the red and now with the master slowly slowly keep clicking on it till you get a color that is as close as possible to the lips now Open the lips in Coral Photo Paint. Use the very uh, light brush. Okay, this brush that I have showed, and just rub around the corner. Now, what what we are doing here is the sharp edges of the lips that are there will get diluted in this, and that's what we are going to get. So save it, and we are done with our first act. Make the apple straight. Is done. Cool. Is was that not quick? Yeah, like it. Great. Okay. So now the second one. So any any shape size of the lips, you know, can be worked on. Now work on the transparency and see where the flow is coming in. Okay. Extremely important so that you know how what is the size of your image. You see, these are big. So, only with the help of transparency, you will be able to get the exact size. Now, once both are ready, crop them. They both are very different, yet similar. Okay. So, I have taken both depending on which one kind of behaves well with what we are doing. Now, take the apple and trim it at this position. Okay. So, the lower part is what we don't want. And then take this image after converting it to a uh, bitmap. You take it in Coral Photo Paint and remove the white background this way. Okay. We can't use any uh, uh, the quick selection tool with this. The reason being that uh, it is selecting the inner white also and it is deleting it at a very hard level. So, oh, this is a little more controlled. Okay, now use the 50% uh, uh, feathering tool and delete the edges slightly. Okay, now use that very thin tool, the 57 one, this one, and just go over these corners. I mean, the edges of our drop and a little bit of the white side inside also okay cool save it now this is what you will get something like this okay now 
take this put it here and now what we are going to do is that we crop it further till the size of the apple now we take the envelope tool or let's do one thing let's not use the envelope tool let's trim this from here okay so we will trim the image only because i think the drops that are falling are perfect okay now cut this somewhere here so that uh, you can play with it and again get into u and saturation and work with this to a point where the red is very similar to the red of the apple okay that's it give it this slight transparency uh, and we are done with the second one also we are only done five minutes and we have completed two hello i am very sorry for disrupting this particular video i am sure you are really enjoying it but i have a special announcement that now i have started a series of webinars and in that particular series i am basically taking ahead anything or every, any kind of doubt that anyone would have let it be you know from starting with the basics of uh, the software to basically how they could transit from basic to intermediate to advanced or if you have any issues regarding how to make print files or papers or different kind of tools different kind of websites or how to work with uh, even uh, prompts you know while you're working with different uh, websites i am going to create webinars on all of this if you have any kind of doubt or you want to speed up your process on creating something good and are looking for a hand holding catapult yourself really fast then please subscribe to the channel and key in your difficulty the reason why i'm asking you to subscribe is because all announcements of webinars are going to be there in the future videos and please enjoy the video further okay now take this and this is going to be the best one you'll really enjoy this okay now what we are going to do in this is that we are going to make you know her dissolve into thin air okay and uh, for that first we need to remove our background so we go into the coral uh, photo paint in the cutout lab and highlight our area you see the highlight color that is there on the extreme uh, left that is green so we need to work with the highlight color and this is what you get now take the fill color that is the blue and preview it first okay you don't want uh, any undue cutting happening here and say yes once you have checked it now base and left align it and take a pixie dot okay take this one come here crop it to how much only the dust we don't want the cart in it so this is how she will now dissolve into thin air so uh, she will become gold dust okay after cracking slowly she will turn into sand and then gold dust so that's what we are planning to achieve here yes i know my friends you all will say wow this is done in photoshop you are doing it in coral draw yes i will show you how this can be achieved in only one software so you don't need multiple softwares you don't need everything can be done in one software take this put this here only problem again take this put this here see adjust the docker in the right way so then you know once you kind of come out yeah this is great okay make it for head size and then we take our sand because now she is from before the pixie dust she is going to dissolve into sand okay so put this here 
and again after checking with transparent first make it transparent and see your position then work with the final image okay this is what you get work on it accordingly cool now we crack her face make sure that your images that you are downscaling come to around about 300 dpi you know after downscaling so that uh, even if you let it be and tomorrow if you want to print this it's not going to harm you you can print it directly okay so come here this is one this is our second one third and then this side so every time you have to convert it into bitmap okay now we come here and do something different that is we overlay it can you see so the the the, the feel and the curve of the skin also comes in now take this once more because we don't only want the effect of the face we want it on our body also so crop this and place it here okay that is on our shoulder and neck that is also going to crack okay that also has to crack so again overlay and you see that this is what you get okay so come here give this vignette on one side and uh, get into normal let the vignette be convert it to uh, bitmap so one side transparency is done now the second side transparency now why we are doing transparency here also even though it was see through because if you put anything behind it this will overlay that also so we don't want the edge of our overlay coming in it should only be on our skin okay see this is what i mean now come behind there is no overlay here. okay this is what i mean great so you have to put that second transparency and then convert it to bitmap now this even the dress could be copy pasted and we could do it okay if you have more time on you you can do that so these both are by awesome content we have taken two of these images here and now we will make a background so this is going to gratify the dust effect it will not look artificial after our background because she disintegrating from everywhere even from that other side of the shoulder okay into pixie dust so that is what it is so let's do this this we multiply and the other one we just let it be let's add yeah i think see you're getting that golden effect here okay and then this is let's do one thing i think let's put difference and see uh no why am i push it down select this and now what we'll do let let more of the dust yeah this this dawn type effect come in okay yeah this way. okay let the dawn dust keep coming in this straight okay cool now we select the other one and push this one after aligning it again we push this one in okay so you get that slight dust type feel now you see that okay is it not good then uh come your transparency normal give this one the transparency convert it to bitmap rgb and now give difference sorry add let's work with add great so you see so she is disintegrating in all possible ways and this is our all three artworks done in less than 13 minutes okay isn't that not great if you like this please like subscribe and do not forget to share because only sharing increases knowledge thank you